Hi, this is Nadi at Elite Wave Forex with your weekly overview for the British Pound US Dollar Pair for the trading week ending Friday, 21st of November 2014. Last week, cable started by moving toward the downside confirming the main count before ending the week almost where it started and targets are yet to be reached. We are updating the main count according to the latest price action which expects an impulsive decline within with 3 plaque and as well modifying the alternate count which expects that with 1 plaque is complete as a leading diagonal and that with 2 plaque is starting to one fall toward the upside and it's worth noting that the alternate count suggests that a low for the year is already in place. As always, we will wait for either count's confirmation point to be reached to determine the highly probable count. On the main 6 hour chart, this count expects that wave C maroon is unfolding toward the downside and within wave C maroon, waves 1 and 2 plaque are complete and wave 3 plaque is unfolding toward the downside. Wave 1 plaque unfolded as a leading diagonal, labeled waves 1 through 5 blue, with wave 3 blue unfolding toward the downside as a zigzag, labeled A, B and C pink. Wave 4 blue followed toward the upside as a zigzag labeled A, B and C pink and to complete wave 1 plaque, we 5 blue unfolded as a double zigzag, labeled waves W, X and Y pink. Following the completion of wave 1 plaque, wave 2 plaque unfolded toward the upside as a double zigzag, labeled waves W, X and Y blue, with wave Y blue unfolding toward the upside as a zigzag labeled A, B and C pink. It's expected that wave 3 plaque is underway and within wave 3 plaque, a series of first and second waves are complete, with waves 1 and 2 pink complete and wave 3 pink is underway. We then wave 3 pink, waves 1 and 2 green are complete and wave 3 green is unfolding toward the downside. We then wave 3 green, waves 1 through 4 orange are complete and wave 5 orange is unfolding toward the downside. Wave 4 orange unfolded as a double combination labeled waves W, X and Y purple. This count would be confirmed by movement below 1.5590 and we have a target for the completion of wave 5 orange at 1.5526 as at that level of 5 orange will reach equality with wave 1 orange. This count's invalidation point will remain at 1.5790 as wave 4 orange may not enter the price territory of wave 1 orange. It should be noted that the invalidation point will be moved to the end of wave 4 orange once we have confirmation on the 6 hour chart that wave 5 orange is unfolding for the downside. We will move now to the alternate 6 hour chart and the alternate 6 hour count expects that wave 1 plaque is complete leading diagonal labeled waves 1 through 5 blue with wave 5 blue unfolding to the downside as a zigzag labeled waves A, B and C pink. It's expected that wave 2 plaque is at its early stages and this count would be initially confirmed by movement above 1.5946. The final confirmation point is at 1.6183 and we have two targets for the completion of wave 2 plaque. The first target is at 1.6203 as at that level wave 2 plaque will reach 0.38 to the length of wave 1 plaque and the second target is at 1.6581 as at that level wave 2 plaque will reach 0.618 the length of wave 1 plaque. This counts invalidation point is at 1.7193 as wave 2 plaque may not exceed more than 100% the length of wave 1 plaque. As well this count would be invalidated by movement below 1.5590 as within wave 2 plaque no B wave may retrace more than 100% the length of any wave. So to wrap this up, this week's main count expects cable to unfold toward the downside to complete with 5 orange and therefore with 3 green, while the alternate count expects cable to reverse directions and move toward the upside within with 2 plaque. That's all for me today, happy trading and have a nice week.